Winter is here again, and Highways officers at Wolverhampton City Council have the responsible task of deciding when to send the gritters out to keep the roads safe. Whenever temperatures are forecast to drop below freezing, the council must ensure there is enough salt on the highway to stop treacherous ice from forming. The man in charge of taking this decision in the city is Ian Law. It's a very big responsibility because uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you get the decision wrong, uh, there's a risk to members of the public, accidents, people getting hurt, possibly even fatalities. So it is an onerous decision uh, and it's something we, we, we take uh, seriously uh, and we don't take any chances with our decision. We have a phrase on the Winter Mountain Service, it is, if in doubt, get them out. And each time Ian does send out the fleet of nine gritters, they travel on set priority routes totalling 289 miles, which is about 62% of the city's total highway network. In fact, during last year's very severe weather, it was calculated the gritters went out so many times, they covered the same distance as Wolverhampton to the Falkland Islands. That's almost 8,000 miles. Ian and his team have access to sophisticated weather forecasts, which provide alerts when ice, frost and snow are on their way to the city. And monitoring the forecast is a constant job at this time of year. Perhaps reassuringly, this isn't always done by computer. A real-life professional forecaster is only ever a telephone call away at any time of the day or night. It's not a nine-to-five job. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, right through to the end of March. Uh, Everything I have in the, in the office is duplicated at home. There are occasions where we've barely had, or I've barely had, two hours, three hours sleep a night for three or four nights. Uh, I, I actually enjoy it very much. Uh, it does actually become uh, a little bit part of you, and uh, you just get so involved with it. There is more than 4,000 tonnes of salt stored in Wolverhampton this year. That's enough for more than 100 standard call-outs. The council can, of course, order top-up supplies if required. At Winsford, where the rock salt is mined, there's at least 300,000 tonne on the surface, and the government have made provision for another 250,000 tonne. The rock salt behind me is coated with molasses. Because of the molasses, it allows the salt to stick more to the highway. To, it basically, it, it, where you put it, that's where it stops. Unfortunately, it is the perception uh, from some members of the public that we don't grit, uh, but we do grit on average 289 miles every time we have a grit in action. In the last four to five years, we've actually gone to a smaller grain size of rock salt. We now use six mil. Previously, we used to use 10 mil rock salt. Uh, this was quite visible on the highway. Uh, and also I had the effect that when it was driven over it would actually flip up and hit the underside of cars. Fortunately now this doesn't happen and people can still have the perception that we haven't gritted even though we have. And while Ian is able to take the decision whether to grit from the relative warmth and comfort of his home or office, spare a thought for the gritter drivers who have to go out in all weathers. I work for Carillion on behalf of Wolverhampton Council and I do the gritter driving. Each vehicle uh, carries about seven to eight tonnes. It takes me about uh, two hours to complete from start to finish. It could be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The vehicles are just the same as any other. They slide and uh, slip all over the place, especially. We're always the first on the road as well, so we're always the first to occur it. We take great care in what we do, you know, knowing that we've made the highways safe around our area for people to get to work or from the journey to wherever they would go get to. I think a lot. some people do get frustrated because they, they can't see a grit out, but they're always there or they're about. Of course, not every Wolverhampton road can be gritted, usually because it will be a small side road that's either too steep or too narrow for a gritting lorry to safely enter. Dead ends and cul-de-sacs also can't be gritted because the wagons cannot safely reverse out of them. For particularly treacherous side roads that meet set criteria, a network of 210 grit bins are located in the city and provided for self-help. Every year the council reminds the public that grit bins are for highway use only and should not be used for private driveways. In very severe weather, once the priority roads have been gritted, the focus of Ian's team is to respond to calls for help from the community. And among those to benefit from this service is Westcroft Sports College for children with special educational needs in Underhill. The school is located on a dead end.
about 80% of our children are transported in, either on coaches or minibuses or individual taxis. It gets iced up very, very easily, quite thick ice and with the snow as well. And of course the children are being transported in, there's always the risk of skidding for the buses and the transports that are bringing the children in. So last year, because we were struggling over a good number of days, we rang the council um, and the council came and gritted Greenacres Avenue for us, which meant that the young people and children could come into school. And the work of the gritters at Westcroft was certainly appreciated by the pupils. Thank you all the Hampton Gritters!